I've heard you talk a lot about how our view of the gospel and God shapes our own self-image. Oh, absolutely. And that's a huge thing when people talk about. So how does that unpack that a little bit? Yeah, it's fascinating to me how much time we spend um, trying to identify uh, I am statements that mm -hmm. are of secondary importance, right? I mean, I think you can even see it in our current worship music and mm -hmm. you can hear it in a lot of the things that specifically I see it in things that are written for women, but I, I know that it can't possibly be limited just to the women's section of the Christian bookstore, mm -hmm. where we're, we're so consumed with reminding ourselves of who we are in Christ or who we are mm -hmm. in, in God. Uh, but we sometimes are forgetful to start with, but who is who God, God is, right? right? Because the only way I can truly understand the beauty of who I am in Christ is to behold Christ. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important for us to answer those identity questions. We need to mm. be able to answer the questions of who we are properly. Right. But it starts by focusing on uh, who Christ is. So if we're going to be in his image, we've got to know his right. image. I think the statement is we become what we behold. But, you know, we can't conform to an image that we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. We cannot begin mm. to look like uh, a face that we have never seen before. Mm. And so um, we, we understand who Christ is through the scriptures. And that's how we can say, now that's a better thing. That's right. what I would want to look like.